Welcome back, y'all. I'm back. My internet is no longer acting up. I can put out a stream. I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow, but for right now, we're going to stream. 3.8 million, I can afford nobody. That's whack. All these people are leaving. Except Channing Philbin. I want him back, but he's going to be gone. He, he, okay, I wouldn't bring back him. I wouldn't bring back him. Cameron Curl, I want to bring back. But I can't. Vigar Johnson, nope. Can't bring him back. We're gonna lose CJ Garner Johnson. We're gonna lose Cameron Curl. We're gonna lose James Daniels. Nah, I'm franchise tagging somebody. Shane Full Move Slab, but next year he's gonna want money. Scout calls players. Okay, no favors yet. strategy we got a buy next week so that's good early buy only week seven Justin Jennings Let's see who's injured. Eric McCoy. Ah, Eric Church still. Three weeks, man. I ain't trying to deal with a this quarterback for three weeks, to be honest. You gonna have to pull it off for the next three weeks. Kendra Miller's gonna have to work overtime. They don't love it. I've been laid back so long, I'm trying to get turned. Searching my name, dog, that's how you get hurt. Being likable, I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I don't care how you feel about it. I do what I want it. I used to look up to the people that I'm moving in front of. It's not that crazy anymore. My city used to have come up. Bryce and Jack G. James is up next. The rest is up to me. These lames is upset. My peers get upstaged. The fans are upset. My city is upcoming. These people are oppressed. And I'm going to change things. I'm up at Carmichael's trying to get on the same page. I heard about the rapper that you claim was a mainstay. They had a nice run, but they never going to maintain because they don't love it. They don't. They don't love it. 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 Let's go. Playing at home. But we still playing without Eric Church, our starting quarterback. So the next three weeks. Got to buy next week, so it's two. 
a strong showing last week with an eight tackle game. It's the Panthers and the Saints next on Madden Football. All right, Gainer. Just trying to survive. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Superdome here in New Orleans. Today we've got a week six matchup for you here. As it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And trotting out there, a guy who's established himself as a veteran in this league. Now it is fifth year at All right, Sion, are you serious? We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Why is P. Warner out there? Yeah, messing shit up already. Nope. Easy math going to learn Montgomery. Oops. Stamina and stuff. Five, eight, three. Results on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Now Young running the option left. 
Now he's loose at the 40. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints 19-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's low. So nothing doing there, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And Young's throw there incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Wow. Deontay Hardy, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point right down the middle. Huh. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Here is Wisniewski to boot it away following the touchdown. Run, 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 run. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Here come the Saints for their opening drive. And a look here at their signal caller, the fifth-year quarterback. Hey, and and he's one of the unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, Thank you for reminding us. been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork. I'm tired of Cesar Ruiz messing up the blocks, man. The numbers for Miller in last week's ball game: 21 carries, 83 yards, and a touchdown. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh, or do they say, "Guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football." And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Here we go, hang on. Yeah. Don't put it for shut up. Looking to throw. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. Saints at two and three here to begin the new season. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. First and ten, Hayner going to the air. His throw I think I'm on the way. I think I'm Charles here in their opening series they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players that looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved yeah let's face it Brandon a player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend and we saw it right there they tried to deny an open lane to him he still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on Seven here as the kicks away. Let's do this again. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Got to be people. Cross midfield down to the 45. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Ready? 
Finding Williams once more, complete. Good tackle. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. For these two teams, they met in Charlotte earlier in the year with the Panthers coming out on top. So they'll be looking for the win here in New Orleans to complete the season sweep. Second down and eight. Young to throw it. Good team. Hey, Todd. Thank you. Good advice. Yes, He's right, feeling like a run. Wishnowski to punt this one away. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right, you get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry a rhythm for essentially two yeah, I see the So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Hayner looking to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 and the 34. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Play fake. It's Hayner. Throw left side complete. That's Gomez. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. And he is going to have a Saints first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to... Good catch, it. baby! A good pickup there, 26 yards. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. To throw is Hayner. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. They go back to the ground now with Miller. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Okay. Oh, that one 
is it brings up a third and ten. Right Don't the turn the ball up. Started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field right there. Luxury and he's like a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. A quick throw there out to Williams. Good. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on the A Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two, as they've got it with a second and ten. Okay, we got no help up top. We all blitzing up top. Up top is blitzing. Got a spy on Bryce Young. Third and short yardage, Young. That is caught. And he is going to have the Panthers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. So here's a first and ten at the 38. To throw, Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On second down, it's Stevenson. This will not go down. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Young now. Wow. Oh, my God. The people, where are you going? Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. They do get a yard there, but only a yard leaves them with third and nine looming. I know the speed is a hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The offense on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Now Young. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Here is Young. And down he goes. Take him out of the field, my way. success on the ground in this first half but this time they're able to hem him in and it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket in this case you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free you got someone to tackle it and he'll take this one down to about the 40 and they only get a yard back there they'll be left with a third down and long. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not letting any lanes to open up. Now on third and long, they'll look 
to throw. He finds his man complete. That's low. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And his kick is right there. It's good. So that Charles a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Yeah, they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And, Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. The most basic partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time. While they're playing this one, they got to take care of business first. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although, I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Throwing. Painter. Get the... Force it in and it's intercepted. I hate you, Gainer. The kicking team here for into a linebacker for real. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. And it's Trinity. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to run, 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 run. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big time play there for New Orleans. 58 yards. And normally when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. Come on, it's not the very. He keeps injuring you people. Painter sets to throw it. Flex on him. Flex on him. Out for game, I'm going to broken ribs. You ain't coming back. Walters, the sun is there. the kicks away and from back there a wise move he'll just sit on this one and it'll Ooh. come out to the 25 Carolina getting set to take the field last time out you remember their drive stone never too late to say booted a long field goal to at least get him three now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone and in our experience how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker can nail it from long distance 
Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Yeah, fumble. Past the 30 yard line there. The keeper gets him seven that time, and it'll lead to a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Young. There's Green. Let's do something with the last three minutes. Fielded at about the 28. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Throwing on second down, Hayner. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They need two. Here's third down. Don't mess up this snap. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. As we eat closer, <sighs> closer to intermission, Charles. Two minute clock. Last time out they punted. They would Two minute defense. Here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides. But sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Young will set to throw. Find Williams on the slant. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He messing around. You run out of time. Should have been the hurry up offense. First down, young. Oh, Chauncey. He sends this one away. This is taken at the 23. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially. Five on the return. What you need to do with 27 seconds, Hunter? As they take over. And the Saints going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second and ten. From the gun, here's Hayner. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. 
And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. This time they stay on the ground. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards on the carry there, but it'll be fourth down now. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He just stayed in bounds. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. And that's going to be incomplete. So nothing separating these two teams as we head. Well, we'll move right through the break then. Skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. You owe us a turnover, now. Get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we see both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, Getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can Oops. I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? From just shy of midfield, here's second down and seven. Painter here to throw it. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 39. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Painter will throw on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Painter. Damn it. Incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free and it's second down. They'll give it up the middle to Miller. And he takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of him. And they force a fourth down. They don't get a touchdown here in the opening line of the third quarter. I think maybe it's just a mission accomplished as they come away with the game. Absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. Give me that! down he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass so what did you see well from a defense's perspective anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback you're in a position to make a play on the ball whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback you have a much better opportunity under pressure and he will go down sack back at the 38 Derek Brown able to record his fifth sack of the season 
Second down throw from Hayner. Get your look. side gets an interception but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own and I think you saw the same thing that I did Brandon as he ran off the field after making that play he saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again now second and three from the gun it's Stevenson and not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. We're going to do a risky play. Needing only two yards to gain the first here. Young on third and two. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. We'll call it a 42 yard punt, three on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first and ten deep in their own territory. <laughs> Try to shake off the interception. Hell, oh, man. Block. Down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping it for the sack. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Painter looking to throw. He completes it to Alave. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. 22 yards there. A first down. Now it's Miller running right. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This second and four. Inside handoff now. Miller. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Come right back at you. Miller will get it. He has been busy today. First down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. 89 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a handoff to Miller. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who is shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Here's Hayner looking to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 21. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A first down carry now for Miller. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Messed up. I messed up. Why don't I try to bounce out to the outside? Four yard loss. And now it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. Twelve yards needed to gain a first down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. Twelve yards needed to gain a first down. when the ball's in the air and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs the second field goal here in his third quarter and his third of the game so far he's been the point of the offense that's for sure and they may need him again before this one's said and done because I'm treated like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter leave him alone and let him focus out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away and from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now the Panthers Julie. offense, they get set to come back onto the field. See if they can put this in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. A first down throw for Young. Normally he's pretty reliable. Usually catches with thrown to him. And that play simply dropped it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, they'll throw. Looking left side, he's got a man. That's low. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 35. Okay, hold him to a field goal, people. Looking to throw, Young. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second and seven. They'll throw again. Young. And that is incomplete. Good be down. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's oh. coming. Let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. That throw by Young incomplete. Go for it. I'm disappointed, Diva. It wasn't easy, but they do wind up converting a fourth and seven to keep this drive moving. Off the play fake, Young. Give me that. Good job, Diva. Way to way to put himself back up. The Saints are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Time to run the clock. They begin with a run. like that Charles with the lead here in the fourth quarter I mean keep running it right no doubt about it but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage what runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line what you just got injured oh, 
leaves, my coins, I leave their church. Home. Okay. He's not in. That catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. To throw is Hayner. His throw and stop catching with your fingers and pull the ball in. Superstar of the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. This offense so far on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. And he is caught, and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. And a good run here as he'll run all the way down to the 40 yard line. 110 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Unstoppable. First and ten, Hayner going to the air. Accident, but completed. The completion, and that'll make it second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Out of the pistol look, it's Miller. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Looking middle, and that's complete. No way to hold on to it. That's all I wanted you to do. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. Keep that clock going. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And he fires for that one as that drive ends in three. And so that's the important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. And Young's throw there incomplete. So many offense where I can put their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. That throw by Young incomplete. And now offensively it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play call is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Young. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. Then they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Play fake. It's Hayner. Oh, and that is incomplete. That a knockout blow right there. I think if I'm on <sighs> I'd be worried about an 
interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Derek Brown in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on in the end zone for a touchback. So now Young and the Panthers down by nine. A minute 54 on the clock. Now Young. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. And Young's throw there, incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here. Right now. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Young. <laughs> He's just had a horrible day. Nobody wants to catch those balls. Well, certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Young. That one thrown across his body, and it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Young to throw. And this is intercepted. User. And should do it. And the Saints will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but that interception puts it in to any hopes that they have. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. Well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. You asshole, Hainer. Look at this shit. Damn, Hainer. Here's Young. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up the first down. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Now the no, try here for the extra point. And the lead is down to two. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And the Saints are going to get to this one. So that should about do it. The uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. I don't trust it all. I don't and trust Hainer. Analytics into the game and some of that. Here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting I it, won. they do actually recover the ball, which is what we're I win. Game, game. we win, win, guys. Much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. No, he was not. He threw three interceptions, I think. Three touchdowns, but still three interceptions. 
So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. Charles, so for this losing side. Yeah, first off, my name told, but it's really Toby Chuku. Got a BM that keep my season. West eating foo foo and the hammer that I keep don't come with nails. That nails, that nails, that nails. Look, I ain't know who Bill Burr was until I met the man. Had my married to the street without a wedding band. I done peeped that all the these rappers won't be second hand. My pop said I'd be broken, barely eat. I should have bet the man. Yeah, cause I'm way, way, way up. Long ways from the days I'd evade ballet stores. Couldn't pay nowadays. All the cake I make us is enough to buy about a hundred trucks from Mercedes. I resage it, Chuku is it? Then my babies, label hippies trying to sway me. Sway me, pay me. Wrote the game 2020, you can see it plainly. Can't nobody play me. I kill everything in you can see me leaking. Shh, be quiet, a real speaking. Voice of God, every word I jot, feel the spirit breathing. Best new Coach, you're in second place in your division and getting some time off this week with the bye. Any special plans for this week? I can't speak for the coaches, but I know the players have something planned to build some midseason chemistry and have us ready coming out of the break. Celebrate. But I'm the out of one candidate. And a white gold tooth cap. I treat the way a nice. She loved that. I mix the blueberry pie. It's not what I wear, it's how I rock that. If I can buy that twice, I'll cut that. Sweet one, ten, ten, spot that. Chuck that. Trying to lock me at the teller, it's not that. Um, do the he say, she say, getting no delay. Run it like relay, bro. You ain't going like All right, guys, I'm out. Thanks for coming to the stream. I appreciate y'all. Y'all helped me win. We're about to win against Dallas and 6 0. We're hoping to disappoint them, too. All right, let y'all.